my rising everybody so this is going to be a short video the most high told me this like two times this morning in two different ways be with people who lift you up who lifts you up now the most high told me three reasons why number one people can be the biggest blessing blocker we know when we're alone we don't feel like our manifestations being blocked we don't feel it as strong. But if you notice when you come in a room full of people who send negative vibes to you, you feel like it's disconnecting you with God or it's causing problems with you connecting to your powers. So don't forget that people have thoughts. And if they're not lifting you up verbally, most likely they're not lifting you up in their mind. And since people can sabotage your manifestation um, vibration, the way it's moving and the way you're releasing it and using it. We know that's why it's important to pick people who lift you up. Um, believe it or not, you know, some of the biggest hardcore wicked witches are people who like to cycle back and bring you down. They may do it in sneaky ways. Because they're watching you and they're looking at your growth and they're looking at what you're going after, but they're also tuning into your energy. So if people don't consistently lift you up, see, there's another part of this, consistently lift you up, then you need to not deal with them as well. If they do not consistently, now I'm saying this, multiple times so this can get in your mind because some people will lift you up just to bring you down the next day just so you can have faith in them and then the next day they bring you down and they know it has a lot of impact because they just brought you up the day before so you want to look at whether it's been consistent you always want to calculate how often, how many times someone's bringing you down versus bringing you up. If they're bringing you down a lot more and more often, especially during the winter season, you need to cut them off. Because, you know, in winter season, we're having a transformation. We're losing things. We're missing people. We're losing people. People may be dying who we love. Um, we may be even getting laid off from our job, you know, after the holidays, all kind of stuff. So if someone's going to bring you down during the winter season, you need to cut them off in silence. Don't even tell them you're cutting them off. Just ghost them. So be with people who bring you up, who are excited about bringing you up, who seem like they rush right in to lift you up and bring you up and lift you up. It's almost like, they just, it's almost like when good things happen to you, it's like it happened to them. You want to deal with those kind of people. They get so excited for you. Or they just light up and glow and, and just so much happiness for you in their energy when you achieve things. You want to be around those type of people. Now, the second reason why you should deal with people who lift you up. Okay, and I'm saying bring you up too, okay? <laughs> um, it's because people who don't lift you up, they cannot be trusted. There's a reason why someone's not lifting you up. Something they're doing behind your back, something they're thinking behind your back. They got plans, negative plans. That's why they're not lifting you up. They have negative motives, that's why they're not lifting you up. There's always a wicked reason behind why, why someone would not lift you up. You do not need to know the reason. You just need to know that it's not good. So that's the reason why you have to deal with people who lift you up and do not deal with people who lift you down because there's something dark. There's a dark reason why they're not lifting you up. Don't You don't need to find out. Because guess what? Some people get nourished and fed with you like questioning them why they don't lift you up. Some people want you to be bothered by that because then they feel like 
they have power over you or you're putting them above you or that their their um their compliments and their praise mean so much to you that fuels their ego so if someone doesn't lift you up and like they like never lift you up get away from them fast because they're up to no good and sometimes it's just spiritually Sometimes they're not lifting you up because they know it's going to make their witchcraft, you know, shaky. Their witchcraft, their spell work might not work. So some people doing spell work on you and that's why they won't lift you up. They don't want to speak against their spell work because if their, their spell work is negative that they're putting on you, they can't speak positive of you. So that's reason number two. To only deal with people who lift you up. Now reason number three. Is that. When you get people who lift you up. It is easier for you to keep your vibration up. In a positive way. Which means you ain't got to fight to keep it up by yourself. You got other people. Fighting. The devil. So you can get your manifestation. You have people on your side. You're building a positive spiritual team that's why a lot of people will achieve their goals faster when they got the whole family behind them lifting them up they got all that positive energy deposited in their energy field so it's better to have nobody in your life than to have people in your life who don't lift you up what you're trying to do is either be by yourself manifesting and lifting yourself up or only have people in your life who lift you up so that they can grow your own discipline in lifting you up, lifting yourself up. Because we know that takes discipline too because there's so many forces against us. So when you deal with people who lift you up, they remind you to lift yourself up because they give you the courage to lift yourself up. You, you you have the desire to lift yourself up because you're thinking about how they lifted you up. You say, oh, I must be a wonderful person because this person lifts me up. It, 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 it kind of gives you some confirmation about how you feel, how you've been feeling about yourself in a positive way. So it's better to have no confirmation of your strengths and, and, and wonderful things about you. It's better to have... It's better to have none than those who tell you, no, you're not worthy. You're not worthy of being lifted up. So think about that. Okay. Now, some of y'all, it may be years before y'all get a whole team in y'all life of people who is lifting you up. And you know for sure because the energy is matching their actions. Now, let's get into that. You always want to investigate the energy of people who lift you up. Because if there's one way the devil will trick you to letting your guard down is by falsely lifting you up. So whenever somebody lifts you up, you need to also use your intuition and tune in and ask yourself, is the energy trustworthy? Do I feel something sneaky? behind their complimentary empowering words you have to ask yourself that okay all right if you enjoyed this video feel free to let me know i will do an, another part um series on this but that's one of your challenges um you will find out one of your challenges this week you will find out that when you do a little workshop on the communication that you have with everyone in your life over like the winter months you'll find out that a lot of them they really aren't lifting you up or they're falsely is fake you'll find out that maybe you only got one person who really want you to rise or stay high connected to god you'll find out you probably only have one person that's legit out, out of your whole family and it's a shocker but it's better to know that the rest of the people, they weren't, they weren't really for you. Now, keep in mind, some people will fake the vibration 
that they're lifting you up will fake the energy because they're getting something out of you. So you have to ask yourself, do these people in my life lift me up even when I have nothing to give but verbal support, when I have no money to give to them, when I have no gifts to give to them, when I don't have any physical love because I'm not healthy, do these people still lift me up? Or, or are they only coming around around income tax season? Or do they only come around around holidays and birthdays, their birthdays? If they only come around with compliments and love and support, building you up when all hell break loose in their life, or only when days when they're supposed to get a gift, then they're not really lifting you up. They're just empty words. It's just a trick. It's spell work. Don't get it twisted. People can do spell work by complimenting you and telling you you're so great. You're doing a great job. Sometimes that's people still um, casting a like a companionship spell work on you so that you will open up yourself more to them. The more they know, the more they can do it again and when to do it, the more they know about you. Because, you know, when people lift you up, you tend to open yourself to them more. You tend to share more about yourself. So that's why some people who are wicked, they love to use the trick of lifting you up when they're really not. It's just so they can be able to snoop more into your uh, manifestation cycles and stuff. So they know when to lift you up again to maybe get something out of you. Be always, always suspicious when people who never lift you up suddenly start lifting you up. <laughs> always be suspicious of that too. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.